Okay, I'm going to talk about how to load these arbitrary patterns in. So we're going to start with the instrument off. This is the 33600A series. We want to go into waveforms, select arbitrary, and then we're going to select arbs. Now, the next thing, we're going to take the USB key. Um, we have a single column of data in an Excel sheet with voltage levels, and we're going to have to scale this afterwards after we load it. So we're going to load that in. We're going to import data. So first of all, ARBs and memory. Uh, okay, so ARB memory catalog channel done. So ARBs and memory. We're going to import data, uh, select data, and then we're going to dial down external now we don't see everything listed here so i'm just going to press uh, one of these keys here now we see i have a couple of choices so i'm going to select this import so this is binary auto import data i'm going to do auto scaling to use up the dac properly um, get the best dynamic range and um, i'm going to select import data do you want to load the file to so it wants to load it to the Arab? Say yes. Now, one thing you'll know, um, it's saying 40,000 kilosamples per second for the wave. Uh, so we're going to have to go to mega samples because of the scaling that we need. Mega sample, four mega samples a second. So. Um, now that's on the sample rate amplitude um, use this to select the cursor set that up 100 millivolt peak to peak and uh, that's it. it should be generating oh it says arb off so we also have to go to waveforms oh we want to get the output going channel open is off we want to turn it on driving it into 50 ohms. Now, just going to go over to the scope. I'm going to clear the data. So I have a reference for this one. I'm going to display the ref channel first. Let's do this. Let's uh, turn everything off. I'm going to do a single shot. We've got a... I'm going to do a measurement on that as well. Let's go to measurement. 65.18 kilohertz approximately. Now we can scale that uh, sample rate if we need to make an adjustment. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a reference from when I had stored before, and we're going to just adjust the skew. So we can line up what was generated from the other. Slightly smaller. If we want to make some tweaks to that, we can go back to the arbitrary pattern generator. So that's kind of the way it's done. Now. Let's go back to the arb. Um, so we have 100 millivolt peak to peak. Now I'm going to make some adjustments we can watch. I'm going to run the scope in continual mode and I can make vertical adjustments here with well, some different granularity. So we can we can tweak our waveform and dial it in the way we want. So if you're interested in the process of how it was exported, let's do, I've got something going on in my power supply here. So I don't know what's happening there. Probably a bad cable. Um, let's turn off the display ref. If we wanted to save this waveform, save waveform, save format. I can choose the format. So I chose CSV data, save to, uh, I can go file name. I can call, let's just call this test so you can see how this is done. Oops. The 
file name test. Oh, why is it not doing that? CSV Daddy. Oh, you know what? I need my stick in there, my USB stick, or it's not going to go anywhere. You can use this dial to choose CSV data. I'm going to put the save to USB. We're going to go file name, test one, press to save, saving test one, the CSV. So now we have this on the USB stick. What I did, just for simplicity, is I plug this over on my computer. So let's go there. Uh, go down here, public E. So I have test one. So I'm going to double click that. Now you can use any. So there we go. So we have X axis. We need to delete these columns. Delete. And you got to delete that column too. Oops, that's the wrong one. You can keep the volts column. We want to delete this column. Now what I like to do also is just to check that it's the right data and it's good. Is insert uh, just a simple chart to see what the burst looks like. So that's what the raw data is going to look like. And that's it. Okay. Raw data. We go system. Sorry, I did it wrong there. I'm going to go arb. Arbs. Import data. Select data file. We got our test one there. We go down there. I'm going to go select. It's going to ask us do we want a binary? Yes, we do. Scaling auto. Import data. Sure. Load the file? Yes, I do. And then I can make my adjustments here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the file management system because uh, when you're um, loading your waveforms or you're manipulating that, after you've loaded them, you may find that you have multiple copies or something like that. So let's go to the system menu. Um, just, you know, when you're in the arbitrary menu, you can load up the ARB. Uh, you can go to ARBs. There's uh, import data which will come off different areas. There's ARBs in memory. Those are ones that you've already manipulated with the sample rate and amplitude. And then there's a, an ARB just selecting any arbitrary waveform. So I have arbitrary waveforms stored in the file menu. And when I select those, I load it up. It's already loaded. Do you want to reload the file? So if it already knows it's been reloaded. Now I don't have the correct amplitude here. Uh, it's whatever it was uh, stored and imported. Um, so we need to always need to modify that. We want to change the uh, sample rate, for instance, or the amplitude here. So I'm going to go and change this. I wanted 100 millivolts peak to peak. Um, and then um, that's it. So that's actually uh, setting that now. If I go back to ARBs now. I can choose... Uh, ARBs in memory, I can see that there's uh, the bandpass high, which I uh, had just done, um, and I've reloaded that. If I go in and let's choose a different ARB file, let's see the bandpass low select. That's also at a different sample rate, so I want to go in there and change the parameter. I can choose sample rate or I can change uh, amplitude. Let's make that 100 uh, millivolts. So now that's set there. No, so, so that's now what's in memory. Now if I go back and choose the band, now I have both of these loaded. I can go back and select the band pass high and say done. And we're now, uh, oh, we didn't do the band pass. I didn't do that correctly. Let's go select ARB. Okay, cancel. Let's go to ARBs in memory. Oh yeah, I guess I did go to band pass low when I go done. And now I'm at the 100 millivolts, ARBs in memory. I can go back to the other one, select ARB. And now it's the uh, the other one. Now you can also go in, if you saw ARBs in memory, you can clear the ARB memory. So there's you want to clear the... So this isn't removing them from the system, but it is removing the settings, like the uh, amplitude settings. So that's something to be conscious of. Um, 
uh, let's go back to waveforms, ARB, sample rate, um, oh, ARBs, ARBs in memory. So it's just the internal built-in one. The other ones aren't there. But then again, if I go select ARB, um, let's go to the user. These are the ones that I've, I've loaded in myself. Uh, let's go to band pass, uh, band stop. Select that one. That gets loaded. Okay, amplitude, I want to change that. So I'm going to go to parameters. Oops, uh, change amplitude. One hundred millivolts peak to peak. And go over there. And that's it. So that will save that. Um, so that's what's loaded presently. And if I go arbs in memory, now that's loaded into memory. So that's loaded into memory. Now you may find you have multi multiple copies. Let's say we uh, want to go in and we want to go in and let's say we accidentally load in another one with the same similar name. Let's say import data like we did before. Select data file. I'm going to do the I'm going to do test file so we don't really make a mess of things. But I'm going to go select test file. Import it. Sure, I'm going to import it. If you want to load the file. So I, now I can load it into the memory as well. So now the file's there. Now I can go in and manipulate this, whatever I want to do. But let's say I go back out, waveforms, arb, arbs, arbs in memory. Now it's in memory. I can clear the arb memory, arbs in memory. Okay, it's not there, but it is still in in on the device now we also have what's on the usb stick but what's on the device i don't want that in there let's say i want to get rid of that as a similar name so what we need to go is go into system system setup manage files and then we're going to we we want to action copy we want to delete and we want to browse now we can delete anything in here so you have to be careful when we do this this is we'll remove it completely from uh, a choice that we have let's select that and then it's going to say perform delete, perform action. You could copy it, whatever you want, but I'm going to do a delete. File deleted. None. Now, if I go to ARBs, we form ARB, uh, ARBs, select ARB, and we go down for our choices, it's not there anymore. So it's completely gone from the system. And that's a little tricky to navigate, but that's how it's done.